Hey everyone, I'm Sean Smith, and this is Salty Jobs. Hey everyone, we're here today in San Francisco. Okay, we're not actually in San Francisco. We're really in Fort Lauderdale at Maritime Professional Training, a maritime training provider with the goal of making a better mariner. Whether you're just starting out, renewing your license, or receiving further education, MPT has the facility and resources to make that happen. This episode's going to be a little different. Whereas typically I'm working, today I'm actually going to be in the classroom learning about different options for a career at sea. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to MPT. Hey, good afternoon. I'm Sean Smith. I had an appointment with John Flanagan. Okay, sure, Sean. Let me see if I can get him for you. Thank you. So Sean, what is your objective within the maritime industry? To be honest, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I could see myself being a captain, but I've also worked in some of the tech jobs. That stuff's fascinating to me. I could go either way. If you're interested in pursuing the career of a yacht captain, I'd probably offer you the 100 ton package of courses. Several courses within the, the period of about 11 days. After that, you'll submit your paperwork and the Coast Guard will get it back to you in typically about 14 days. Uh, it's quicker than I would have guessed. To pursue maybe a career on a merchant vessel, I would probably suggest as an entry level would be the Able Seafarer package of courses. It'd be about a month, give or take? Just about a month to complete all the coursework. Oh, and that's for the big boats, right? Right, such as container ships, tankers, supply vessels, that sort of thing. So what if I was interested in the engineering side of things? What I would probably guide you toward would be our QMED class, which stands for Qualified Member of the Engine Department. It's a four week course, get plenty of theory, plenty of knowledge, a little bit of hands-on. So would I have to have had experience in the industry prior to taking these classes? A lot of the entry-level courses just require sea time. But if I'm out water skiing with my parents, is that? That would still count, yeah. Wow, okay. So how did you figure it out? How did you get to where you are? Uh, kind of a little different route. I went to New York Maritime College up at Fort Schuyler, New York, where I got a Bachelor of Science degree in Marine Transportation, and I also got a U.S. Coast Guard Merchant Marine Officer's License. I actually just finished my master's degree there too in international transportation management. You ever gonna be done with all the training? Training is never over, Sean. Hey, I'll tell you what, man, I still have no idea. I am torn. So you know what we'll do? Let's go across the street and take a look at all of our stuff. All right, sounds good, let's do it. The first thing we checked out was one of the bridge simulators, which was so realistic it blew me away. I could feel the ship move as we made our way through the port. Next, we were off to explore other opportunities. After reviewing my options, I decided that the captain's course was the right one for me. I, I really don't know what to do with my hands. Alright, just try keeping them down at your side. Just like this? Yeah, sure. Okay. A little less stiff, but yeah, no. Run, run from the top. Okay. So whether you're just starting out, renewing your license, or receiving further yeah. training, 